Look, all your friends are going into college, so you don't want to feel left out, do you? You need to go into college instead of sitting in front of a computer all day. I know you have the option to work from home, but you hate, hate all those interactive lockdown lessons, don't you? They give you a Zoom headache, don't they? And it's so strange not to be able to see friends or anyone. I know you miss your macchiato in your favourite little coffee shop with the cats. It's been open for months now without you. Muffin will be mewling for you and Ebony destroying all the cafe's furniture. I wonder if they even allow cats to live in the cafe anymore. So you're going to be making that journey again soon, okay? That ordinary mundane journey to go into college. Living like this is safe. Too safe. The truth is you're scared. But you're being ridiculous. I mean, you're only 17. Most of the statistics say you'll probably be okay even if you do get corona. You should know you're studying biology. And that's important. You need to study hard so you can take your degree and study tropical diseases, so then we'll be ready in the future and all those lives won't be lost again. And you won't have to live in fear of a stupid virus. But what if they're wrong? The statistics, the experts, what about complications? Because you're scared of dying, aren't you? Because you're vulnerable. But if you hadn't had that lung transplant, you wouldn't even be here to be scared. Oh, Haley, you're alive now. You've made it this far. And you're only alive because of your donor. Your donor who gave their life so you could live yours. Do you really want to waste that gift by staying at home? And what about the vaccine? They're already doing trials and when it does become available, you'll be a priority. It won't be long now. So you will meet your friends. At a safe distance, of course. Emma kept in touch all the way through lockdown on Skype. But what if she carries the virus? She looks well. We spoke only 10 minutes ago. She looks healthy. Oh, Haley, you have to, we have to stop this. We can't live our lives on a what if. Even if we are at risk, we need to live our lives. Wear a face mask, wash your hands, take every precaution. Just go up to Emma and knock elbows together. Come on, Haley, we've got this. Never mind your makeup, the mask will ruin it anyway. Thank you.